hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about correct way to return value in custom rest api in the wordpress so um, in our previous video we created an api to fetch book post type and uh, this is the callback which return the response into the api so if i show you how we are returning the value <coughs> as till now <coughs> so we are uh, returning the json data uh, into the rest api let me show you by executing this api so this is how we are returning the data uh, till now but this is not the correct way uh, you can send this but that's not the correct way wordpress has defined its own way to um, return data uh, based on the wordpress standard and requirement so let's start with uh, sending the uh, what uh, value we should return when we have an empty result so when we have a have an empty result we should use this um, wp error class instead of um, uh, using this so i'm gonna add this class so this class accepts three parameters first is the slug error slug so i'm gonna say it no data found second is the message and third i will show you in a bit but first let's see what happens when we do this so i'm gonna add something random and get the empty data so it says uh, no data found message in the data we are getting null and uh, status is 500 so this is the status http status uh, for um, not getting data but 500 is not the correct status when we don't have data we should use we should use 404 status when we don't have any uh, data in the api response so in that case wp error in the wp error we can use the third argument which is an array and in that array we can pass status whatever we want in our case we want status to be 404 so now if i refresh this and it says status 404 and yeah here we also have a status 404 so this is how it should uh, pass the status um similarly this status you can pass based on your requirement uh, make sure you follow this status number based on their purposes i will share this link into the description section so that's that so in in this um, area you can pass the extra data if you want whatever you want to pass that data you will get into the response let me change the view
so this is for the empty result now let's try to make let's try to send sorry it's not proper view so now for non empty result we should use this function rest and sure response so this function does um, rearrange the response based on the wordpress api requirement so we don't need to um, convert uh, into the json like this we used previously if we use this function this function make sure everything that it sends the json response instead of any object or array something like that so now i'm gonna refresh this api and as you can see it is now all the json format so and the status success status will be 200 uh, that also takes care by this function so this is how you can um, return value correctly into into the wordpress rest api so this is the video guys thanks for watching if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section